guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey girlies so today's video is something i've been wanting to make for the past couple of weeks but with everything going on in the world right now i didn't want to post anything that could serve as a distraction from actual important issues so make sure you guys are you know actually paying attention to everything going on in the world this is not a trend that's going to die in a few weeks it is time for real change and there is things that you can do there are organizations that are seeking donations so if financially possible you can donate to those as well as sign petitions Everything will be in the description of this video. You can literally listen to this video and sign all of those petitions with this playing in the background within three minutes. Literally doesn't take more than 20 seconds per petition. Use your voice, do what you can to make a change. If you think everybody's just wasting their time, this movement is stupid. Hi, sweetie, your privilege is showing and either you need to check yourself or you could get off my channel because I don't need people like that supporting so me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So I originally got my breast augmentation August of 2019 and I didn't start experiencing complications until March of 2020. So it took about seven months for me to start, you know, noticing that something was wrong. Now I want to clarify, I am in no way blaming my doctor at all in this video just because he's a super professional. He did an amazing job on my breast. It just so happens like, guess what? I took the chance of putting a foreign object in my body and this happens to a ton of women. The unfortunate part is that not all of these women that I've seen these videos, which there is a lot of honest people, but it just kind of feels like some people are not being honest. And I know that some people are not because I have several friends that are influencers. Hi girl, I'm talking about you. Um, that have breast implants that keep making videos about them and acting like they just love them so much. But behind the scenes, they're constantly talking about how they hate them. And they're in pain all the time. So that just like pisses me off how there's people out here that are obviously in pain and experiencing complications. But they keep going online talking about like, I love my boobs. Like, yes, like get a boob job. Like it was amazing. Like I love them when in reality you're over here telling me and all these other people that you hate them so i'm gonna be that person that keeps it real with you and if this video makes you you know not get a boob job good i like that's the point i don't want anybody to go through what i have gone through the past couple of months when i tell you my quality of life has dropped to a fucking zero because i can't even leave my house without like crying and being in pain i have broke down in public like embarrassing I broke down in public because I just started having severe excruciating pain in my chest and I've had to walk out of places crying in front of people I don't want anybody to go through that I first got them done in August of 2019 so I've had them for about 10 months but around you know March is when everything started going wrong and everything started feeling weird the exact implants that I have in my body right now are the allergen ink companies Natriel Inspira cohesive breast implants. To give you guys a little bit of a close-up, this is what I currently have implanted in me right now. So initially when I first got them done, everything was fine. Of course, I was in, you know, a little bit of pain, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I hurt so bad. It was just discomfort because now I obviously went from like a 36A, 34B to all of a sudden having like freaking D's. So of course, I'm gonna feel, you know, some discomfort, some tightness in the chest, but I didn't really experience anything weird. My recovery was super smooth. I still to this day wear my recovery bra. I have bought several of them from Amazon. Even if you don't have breast implants, I recommend this bra. It is the most comfortable thing in the world. But I wore my recovery bra and I wore my band across my chest to make sure they settled properly. I did everything my doctor told me and they dropped so beautifully. I was just so happy with my results. But then March came along and everything just started to change. And that's when I'm gonna bring in my entries so I could start telling you guys everything that happened. The first entry I put was I forgot to mention that I've been documenting with photos as well as like note entries, everything that I've been filling on specific dates, just because this all started happening right when the COVID thing happened. So all the doctor offices shut down and I wanted to be able to prove it to my doctor how everything was gradually progressing because obviously breast implant illness is not really viewed as a real thing in the medical field, unfortunately. So I wanted him to see everything I was dealing with so he didn't think that I was just being extra, you know? It's March 20th and I put breast discomfort, mid back pain, and chest pain. So I already knew that I was going to experience some sort of back pain because now I have, you know, large breast, And of course that's going to, you know, drag my frame down. It's going to, you know, cause me to slouch a little bit. So I'm going to have to work on my posture some more. But it wasn't that kind of pain. It was more of a like stinging soreness. It wasn't a natural back pain. So I immediately knew, okay, that's not normal. I need to get that checked out. And the breast discomfort all started in the right breast. Still to this day, I have basically minimal to no discomfort in my left one. 
this boob is still sitting perfectly the way that it should have like right after you know surgery and it dropped and it healed it still looks perfectly fine but my right breast however mm -mm. when i made this entry i would literally lay down turn on my side and immediately as this implant would lay on the other one all my other discomfort if i would lean forward without a bra on say i'm drying my legs with a towel the discomfort that was not something that i was experiencing before i took a photo of my breast that day and i took another photo of them on april 10th and i hate seeing these photos because it's like bro like what happened April 10th i put breast looks different picture um, dropping question mark hardening i'm now dizzy a lot and my skin is starting to look pale and by pale, I meant the face. All of a sudden, like, my face just looked like the life was sucked out of me. Like, gradually, every day, just more and more, it just looked like my glow was literally sucked out of me. I looked very dead in the face, and people would be like, oh my god, girl, you have a glow. But sis, that's because I was putting, like, 10 oils on my face to try to combat that. That, oh, maybe my skin is dead, like, I need to revive it. But in reality, my skin looked like that because it was an internal problem. It wasn't because I wasn't moisturizing. It was because my body was trying to tell me something. And when you notice shit like that, you need to pay attention. Your body is trying to send you signals. So in this photo, you can see that significantly my breast has, like, dropped a little bit on this side when i first got them done they were both the same like even which i understand my doctor told me this they're gonna be sisters not twins so i didn't care if one was maybe a little bit lower or maybe one of the nipples was you know right here maybe one was a little bit higher like i wouldn't pay attention to that because everything would have you know like that wasn't my problem when they're going from this to this one starting to go down like this I'm starting to notice that I'm wearing the same recovery bra. My breasts are being supported. So I understand how some girls don't wear the recovery bra and they might get saggy results because like they didn't let them, you know, heal properly. Instead, they let them just hang loose. That's why you're supposed to wear it. Because if you just let them out there, your skin's going to start stretching really quick. And that's exactly what I did. So now that all of a sudden it's just starting to droop on its own, I'm like, okay, what is going on? Around this time, I started to try to do the Chloe Ting workouts. And I swear to you, even after starting the first one for a few minutes, I immediately felt pain in my chest and I couldn't breathe at all. I almost thought I was having a panic attack at one point, but... There was literally no reason for me to have one and I also didn't have those other feelings like it was just I can't breathe moving forward to May 16th I tried on a bikini and my boob is now half an inch lower I couldn't go without support after a minute of pain they feel heavier cannot lay on side at all without pain and literally shitting my brains out all of a sudden i have the worst digestive problems keep in mind for the past couple of months i've been cooking every single day at home i'm not out here eating mcdonald's every single day i've actually subscribed to like those blue apron hello fresh boxes and i've been cooking organic you know really good meals for myself because i've been trying to actually turn my health around i've been trying to boost my immune system especially with everything going on in the world I've been trying to, you know, actually better my health. And the fact that I was doing everything to, you know, promote good gut health and taking probiotics and taking all these vitamins, why am I experiencing such severe digestive problems? And I'm not talking about like, oh, I just like pooped twice today. I'm talking about waking up bent over excruciating. Like I'm talking about severe, severe pain i've been experiencing that every single day for the past month and a half and it just keeps getting worse and worse i have cut out everything from my diet that could have possibly irritated my body i'm over here drinking almond milk eating fake cheese literally doing everything to make sure it couldn't possibly be oh you just have stomach problems you'll be fine i wanted to make sure that i could come to these doctors with everything and be like i tried all of these so don't try to send me home talking about change your diet there's a reason why i do not feel okay keep in mind i told you that it was now like this now my boob is down here the other one is still sitting nice and perky but the other one is falling and this was around the time when it started to feel like it was starting to harden up as well the digestive problems that just developed out of nowhere and I tell you, I tried every possibility to figure out what could have possibly been wrong with my digestive system. And it doesn't run in my family to have like all these digestive problems, keep in mind. So now moving forward to June 8th, I can barely even go for a walk without breathing heavy. I was super dizzy as hell lately, which that has been like one of the like more like growing problems as of recently. 
I'm getting dizzy and I'm getting confused for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I'm be in my car literally just driving to go and drop off Briella Lash's orders and I got lost. My brain doesn't feel like it's working properly like it used to and no, I am not sitting here smoking all this weed, like frying my brain. I've actually stopped smoking as much. Also, my card expired so I didn't have access to getting any sort of marijuana. Like I said, I haven't even been able to take my dog for a walk. Literally, I would walk her halfway down the street and instantly be out of breath and would have to go right back inside the house and it wasn't because I was just tired of doing other things I just couldn't breathe I just got exhausted and winded so easily I just felt so weak continuing on June 8th my skin looks gross I look extremely dead I'm anxious as fuck I'm super irritable my right breast looks even more fuller than before and heavier I'm not sleeping like I usually do I'm sleeping in a lot later I'm going to bed at my usual time but I'm sleeping in a lot later which is not normal for me at all because I usually wake up around like six or seven in the morning and then the nausea I've been getting super irritable over the littlest of things. My anxiety has been like through the roof for no reason. I've been crying for absolutely no reason. I've just been experiencing all these random things. By the breast looking heavier and fuller, I'm actually going to include a photo. Actually, I'm gonna show it on the phone because um, I don't want to just like put it on the screen. But... I just hate the way my body looks now, like Jesus Christ. I just want to clarify that I didn't have any sort of stretch marks on my boobs. I just want to clarify that my veins have never like shown through. I've never, like everything was solid, okay? I've been using bio oil since the beginning of my augmentation so I could make sure that I don't have any markings. That's why I also went through the armpit for the surgery so I wouldn't have scarring. But this is now what the right side of my body looks like. I'm only showing this because I want you to see how inflamed and swollen and you can just tell that it looks like it's just floating on top of my body. The other breast just looks so perfect and this one is just... First of all, do you, do you see all that discoloration? Like, do you see all, the, like, what is that? None of that was there literally a month and a half ago. Yes, my boob has been getting more and more swollen and more, like, harder, it feels like. But I never had any of these markings. And now, like, waking up and then, like, taking a shower and seeing that every day, how it's getting worse and worse is just, like, genuinely scaring me. And that leads us to where we are today, literally only five days after my last entry. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. My stomach just started hurting so freaking bad, and it's still kind of hurting right now. But because I've had a problem with anemia in the past, every four to six months, I usually just get my blood tested regardless because I've been trying to work on that. I'm not anemic anymore, but I actually went three and a half weeks ago, almost a month ago, to go and get blood work. But I also did a stool sample. Both came back perfectly fine perfectly fine. That is all the proof that I need that my breast implants are 100% poisoning me because if my doctors are telling me that there's nothing wrong with me but I'm feeling all these symptoms and a lot of other women have felt this too and once they got explanted they were perfectly fine again, I know 100% I need these out of my body. It is not worth it. It is not worth the risk. I spent almost $10,000 getting my breast done and now I have to spend... Y'all, I'm not rich! Like... I'm not rich. I'm not sitting on a million dollars in my bank account. I just can't go and spend all this money. And I knew that if you get your boobs done one time, you're eventually going to have to get them done again. I knew that. Like, I was aware that that might be a problem or a thing financially years from now. I didn't think that literally less than a year later, I was going to have to spend the exact same amount, if not more, because I'm probably going to need a lift. I didn't think that I was going to spend all this money just to have to spend even more to fix it all because it's literally killing me now. I know this is going to sound easier said than done, but as somebody that has dealt with body dysmorphia for so long, it's so much easier to take steps to learn self-care and learn to love yourself than to put yourself through these types of situations. People don't realize their influence. I literally, I kid you not, almost every Every day or every other day I get a message from a girl saying oh like how's your experience now with your breasts like are you still happy with them because I'm really considering it and I've actually told a few girls like don't do it like this happened this happened and they're like oh, I don't know still thinking about it so honestly like there's some people that you just cannot help and they have to learn the hard way and unfortunately that's the way that it has to go 
sorry. If you need more videos to convince you, I'm going to link Shannon Rose's explant video. It's an hour long, but it's very informative. As well as that Carissa girl. I'm going to also put her video as well because it's very, very informative. It goes into detail. There's actually plastic surgeons that completely stopped doing breast implants and now they only focus on reconstruction and explanting. What does that say? So the next video that I make related to this topic will probably be the whole explant process. I will take you guys through recovery with me. I will take you to surgery with me. I will take you after like literally everything that I go through. I'm going to document it because if I can stop just maybe one to five, maybe 10 people from doing this and hurting themselves, I'm going to do it. Because if I could stop somebody from going through what I've been dealing with for the past couple of months, I'm going to do it. Even if it makes me look stupid, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I was trying to do something to make myself feel better about myself. Plain and simple. And I still try to tell myself, no, you don't regret it. You don't regret it. Like, you learned a lesson and now you know to never do stuff like that again. But no, I regret it. That was a big mistake. And fortunately, I could afford to get it fixed, but I don't know how many women are out there in pain dealing with what I'm dealing with right now for years because they can't get them removed. Insurance doesn't cover getting your breast removed. Like, that's a cosmetic surgery and you decided to go through with it. So if you, you know, something goes wrong, you have to also pay for it to be removed. Unless your implant literally exploded inside of you, and this is what the doctor told me, unless your implant literally exploded in you and you are about to die from sepsis, your insurance is not going to help you in any way. So much cheaper to go to a counselor or to go to therapy and learn to love yourself than put yourself through these types of situations. Because guess what I just made, sis? A $20,000 mistake. So that's all I have for you guys today. I have multiple videos that I'm going to be uploading for you this week. But I just really wanted to get my experience out there. Because I don't know how many people are going to continuously ask me. Or are going to keep watching those videos. And think, oh my god, it's okay. Like, everything is fine. When in reality, it's not. I don't know if I want to take those videos down. I'm considering it. Just because I... I don't know. Or maybe I'll just link this video underneath all of those. I'm not sure. But I just don't want to promote something like this because it's just not worth it at all. But that's all I have to say today. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel and hearing me out. Even if I look like a goof right now, I could have possibly stopped like 10 people from going and doing it. Because I just, I feel like I, my experience went so well at first that me sharing that possibly like made a bunch of other girls be like, Oh yeah, like hers went so well, like mine's going to also. And I know I'm aware of my influence on the internet. I'm aware of my platform. So if I have to put myself out there in this way and make myself look stupid for making that decision and putting my life at risk just to have a fuller chest, then I'm going to put myself in that position because... Uh, no. It's not worth it. At all. But that's it for this video. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you guys all in my next one. Leave any questions below.